So the questions on everybody's mind is Is a Chinese carburetor better than this stamped up proper Weber carburetor? And when the feck am I gonna finish the bodywork on this car? Well the answer to those questions is come in. So let's get on with it. Hello and welcome to Retro Cars Reborn. I'm Lee, of course. And we're going to be fitting a new carburetor. So let's get this Capri uncovered. The lighting's not amazing under here because like, with the bonnet up, it literally just blocks all the light from any lights that I've got on the ceiling. So we're just uh, fully torch power today. So the reason I'm changing this Weber carburetor out is I have rebuilt it three or four times now and it just does not run correct at all no matter how many times I rebuild it it just it just hates me and that's one of the reasons I stopped driving the laser Capri in the first place is because you know it just, it just, it just hates me it would break down overheat you know the fuel would evaporate it wouldn't start hot starting issues, cold starting issues, everything. So we're going to swap it out for this Chinese bought carburetor and uh, I've watched a couple of videos of people doing it and they've yielded promising results. So let's whip this one off and swap it for the other one. Let's see how much fuel's in the little bowl here. It's full. So I imagine that the the fuel bowl will also be full. Now the first thing I've done is the Haynes Manual Special. Because as we know, a Haynes Manual, any job you do, it tells you to disconnect the battery. But I have actually done that because, you know, the fuel is there. It's only, got, only going to take a little spark off something for it all to go tits up. The next thing you want to be doing is disconnecting that fuel line and this fuel line so I'll go ahead and do that now so also a side note on this as well if you own a car that is relatively old carburetor powered maybe you know fuel lines are something you're going to want to keep an eye on I've already changed these so I haven't got that issue but uh, I've seen lately a lot of capris catching fire for instance anyway so you know that uh, would be a perfect time to swap your fuel lines for some new ones are we gonna get any leak Anything in the bowl, you see. Nothing in the bowl. No, no leaks at all. So that's what I mean, the fuel just is. It's either evaporating out of the bowl or it's returning to. It's returning to the. Uh, to the tank. But either way, it's just no matter how much I've set it up, it just doesn't want to know. So the next two things to deal with is the second accelerator pumps vac line, which the Chinese carburetor doesn't come with, doesn't require a second accelerator pump. So that's going to need blanking off underneath. And then the other vac line which is here, is for the distributor and luckily the uh, Chinese carburetor comes with a blanking plug already on there so that will allow me to blank off the uh, manifold underneath for uh, the use of no secondary pump so that's good, so I'll whip this off and then we'll be on to the next stage. This one for me is nice and simple. 
I've just got to undo this here to release this cable and this here to also release this cable because I converted this to a, a manual choke because of all the problems that I was having. Uh, if your laser is original you will have a automatic choke, a biometric strip choke that is ran off the cooling system which is these two pipes here so all you'll have to do is undo these two pipes that are down here look this one and this one uh, if you've converted it like me you'll just have this little conversion pipe in between two jubilee clips or whatever uh, however you've done it and uh, yeah so that's it for the next stage is just got to remove the little bits holding this on so with the cable off the next thing you want to move on to is removing your throttle linkage which is on this super simple it's how we're doing with this little push clip so you just want to pull it towards you it snaps out and then literally just want to pull it and feed it towards it lift it up there you go linkage disconnected that was probably the easiest bit. So, really, technically, the last stage is taking your four mounting screws off. Screws, bolts, one and two. And then there's one hidden in there. And one hidden down there. Oh, can we see it? Can we see it? There it is. Now, they're pretty difficult to get to. So, various methods, spanners, adjustable bits. Uh, I would love to show you doing it, but uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to take them off. But yeah, really, all you've got to do is take those four off, and it'll be in your hands. So I'll get on with that, and I'll be back with you. Right then, pro tip. 3 8 ratchet, too big. Next size down, long extension. Universal joint with a 13mm on the end. It's um, pretty much all out, and I would leave, leave this one till last, because the washer is pretty difficult to get off. But now that you basically or four off. Sure. A little bit of persuasion. There she is. Next to its new Chinese friend. Which we will now go and show you what comes with the Chinese carburetor and some of the differences. So to the kitchen table. So this is done as a 32-36 Weber carb, except they've got it down as a 38. So yeah, this is what you get when you order it. Bar Max speeding rods. I've bought stuff off them in the past you get this little about all's information dear customer we are amazing blah 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 we're the best thing in china since like forever um so they do coil overs and they do con rods and stuff like that and uh, you know what people slate them quite a bit but i've watched videos on people doing testing con rods made by them and they're either just as good as this they claim or if not a little bit better and I've bought coilovers off them in the past as well and you know what they've been they've been fine most people I imagine to say they're shocking because they fit them wrong or they just don't know how to look after a set of coilovers but you know there we go one absolutely spanking yeah. 
one absolutely spanking. Replica Chinese carburetor. It cost me a whopping, wait for it, a whopping £86.45p, and that's including shipping. It took about oh, two days to get here because they're already, in, they're from China, but they're already located in the UK, ready for distribution, so you're not faffing about. So let's have a look at what you get. So, as well as your carburetor. And I'll show you all the different little things with this compared to the original. You get a, so this is your choke, but it's a manual pull lever one. You also get your bottom gasket, including some little fitting kit with it. It's good that it includes a gasket because now you can make them you should, really I needed two but they only send you one and you don't get a little plate either because mine uses a little base plate to get a little bit height between the carburetor and the manifold but I'm not going to complain about that so yeah so there's your carburetor that you get uh, it comes fitted with a electronic choke now these electronic chokes are expensive and um, you could pay your 80 quid just for this electronic choke. It comes fitted. Now, I've seen a lot of videos of people who stripped these down and looked at what's inside. And again, they're either just as good, if not a little bit better, constructed. Obviously, the casing material, it looks, it looks cheap. But I don't think it is. Like I say, people stripped them down and said they're just as good. So what I noticed when I first opened this is that screw there is not fully screwed in all the way around. So I'm going to need to adjust that. But I think they did it because you adjust these electronic chokes anyway. The second thing I noticed is the mixture screws. You get two for each side. Whereas on the original, you only got one one mixture screw to control both butterfly valves so that's kind of cool the other thing I noticed is people were saying this accelerator pump when you operated, when you operated the throttle it didn't move there was some play in it now in the video that I seen somebody do that in there was play between that so the butterfly had to open at least to there before the accelerator pump took up, but now nah, they seem to have already sorted that out. Literally, as soon as it's operated, the accelerator pump comes on. Now, the next thing to note is it should have two accelerator pumps. There's your missing one, and there's the one that's fitted. So, on the original, you've got two. Another arm here, another accelerator pump. Now the accelerator pump's job is as you open the throttle, it just supplies that little bit of extra fuel straight in there. Now this is the reason they didn't put one on. So carburetor, back the right way around again. As you can see here, it's geared original is on a linkage so that when you're driving around town it's on its side when you're driving around town 32 sized hole butterfly opens when you're driving around town as you're pootling around town that's where your fuel economy is and as soon as you boot it, this lever here gets to a second stage and then would open 36. So when you properly boot it, it needs some power. Now because they decided to build this geared piece and not put the lever linkage in, you don't need the second accelerator pump because when you 
when you open it. When you give it the gas, they both open. So, the fuel economy on this, I imagine, is going to suffer a little bit, but you're going to have power all of the time. There's some slight issues. You see there. This valve here, and there's a second one there. That should completely close. It's slightly, slightly visible. That adjusted that. We'll see how this performs. So that's a look at the Chinese carb so far. That's what you get in the kit. So uh, we'll get back to fitting it and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Two pipes that are no longer needed. I literally just blanked the ends of them off and just cable tied them out of the way in case this doesn't work and I have to go back to the Weber because I didn't want to totally remove them and you know do yourself over so to the two carburetors turns out the Weber had actually got some fuel hidden inside the bowl good job out of a piece of cardboard but in order for me to actually run the Chinese carb I've got to take this bracket Weather and swap it onto the Chinese Carbo Repar. So, you know, it's just a bolt. So, I'll just swap that over and we're pretty much ready to start. So, with the bracket changed over, the only last thing to do is to chuck your brand spanking new shiny carb on, bolt it down reconnect everything now this time i've gone without the uh, plate between let's see if it makes any difference and, uh, right then. so i screw it down and then we'll hook it all back up and we'll see if she starts wish me luck could see and here it uh, it runs pretty fucking well and uh, it only took a little bit of uh, adjustment on the uh, mixture um, I set the fast idle as well and I've left the electric auto choke on because it seems to be doing them brilliant job at the minute I mean I left it left it to cool down I come back and the flaps were closed just as they should be and if anybody wanted to use the electric choke it comes with literally your first fuse there is ignition live so as soon as you turn the ignition on you get power to your choke sorted so yeah I'm well happy with that uh, only time will tell once it's ready for its MOT but it seems to be starting on and off the key which it never did before I had so many problems with the original Weber after you know three or four rebuilds so yeah it's looking pretty good so there you go the uh, Chinese carburetor does everything it says it's going to so you know is it really that bad um, probably not. Uh, link in the description for the Chinese Cobra. And uh, yeah, only time will really tell how it, uh, how it works out. But yeah, comment, subscribe, 
and I shall see you in the next one. I've been Lee, and this has been Retro Cosmic. Oh.